Exciser Hamill kicked off last night uh, with the assertion of the 2nd Commando Regiment uh, parachute jumping into Wyala Airfield to seize the airfield. That allowed the Ready Battle Group to insert uh, via ground tactical means as well as air mobile insertion of our forces here to secure the airfield and break out uh, to secure evacuation network and facilitate the evacuation of Australian nationals and proof foreign nationals. So we're at the uh, evacuation handling centre at the moment. We, um, we search the personnel coming through here, we process them and then we um, take them off, make sure that you know, we can send them on home to Australia, safe and sound. Have you seen anything unusual? We've got company uh, combat teams out in the, in the field now. Uh, they're securing the evacuation assembly areas. We've got teams, mobile teams, which are supporting the evacuation through transport uh, with the uh, protected mobility vehicles, Bushmasters, as well as a reserve uh, force able to respond to contingencies. We've got engineers searching. And we've got the Air Force uh, 383 squadron conducting screening, processing and support to DFAT. So it's a really uh, combined interagency team at work here today. This is really important. We, we've got a wide range of tasks uh, to fill as uh, Army's high readiness ready battle group. But we never fight alone, we never work alone. So here we see a combined joint interagency team uh, tackling some of those challenges, the diverse challenges that we may face non combatant evacuations, humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, or other security operations. This morning at 0730 we started the 1st Brigade from Darwin, the heavy vehicle road movement, including A vehicles, from Camp Al Alamein at the range east over to this range west so they can continue with their operation and exercise home. Turn left and then left onto the air highway. We've got approximately 550 vehicles. From the, the new Mercedes G-Wagons, uh, which are used sort of a, as an admin vehicle, logistics vehicle and also reconnaissance. Uh, we have some medium and heavy trucks, Unimogs, Max, carrying general stores. Uh, we've also got the, uh, the M777s from 812 and then we've got the heavy equipment transporters that carry the Abrams tank for one armoured regiment. This morning we conducted a patrol into what we're knowing as Objective EMU, uh, this internally displaced persons camp we're currently on, uh, and our, our role as part of Battle Tiger is to secure it, make sure that everyone here is who they say they are, they pose no threat to ourselves, uh, to our mission, or to the other refugees around them. Yeah, we're just basically here to keep this place safe. We've travelled in here with the New Zealand Army and we've conducted key leadership engagement. I know my family's in there. Face-to-face -face interviews, it's discussions with uh, the key leaders to try to find out what their concerns are regarding security, sanitation, health and rations. It's all about the civilian space and how that is impacted by the conflict that's unfolding through the exercise. We've been working really well with the, our Australian brethren, you know, and it's really good to mingle and uh, experience, you know, the missions that we're doing out here with each other. This has been a good opportunity for both the Australian and New Zealand soldiers to uh, deal with a range of actors on the battlefield, in this case civilians, and it both challenges and develops our ability to use appropriate force, and in this case it's protecting civilians, uh, even though we're expecting to be dealing with quite a conventional enemy. We're at Coltana Training Area in South Australia and Exercise Hamill 2016 is the Australian Army's capstone exercise which is designed to test and evaluate the Army's Ready Brigade. We've seen a non-combatant evacuation operation for the Ready Battle Group uh, in combination with Special Forces. We've seen uh, ground clearance operations of the Brigade in combination with US and Marine and New Zealand Army Forces. And we've seen traditional ground combat operations, the advance, we've seen attacks through urban areas, and we've seen defensive operations as well. You don't get training like this uh, anywhere else. You have to do it in an actual real urban environment with uh, living, breathing c uh, civilians there. Uh, it adds a, another layer of complexity, uh, it throws in uh, much more friction, but uh, overall it's an excellent experience and a great learning opportunity for all the soldiers. Coltana has provided a couple of challenges. Firstly, it's new ground for the vast majority of participants, and that's good. It's good to go to areas where the soldiers have to get out, conduct reconnaissance, and get used to the land. 
but it's also very different climatically. It's colder and it's wetter than the East Coast and that has ensured that we've had to work in a different climatic setting and we've got different training value out of that. It's about getting that ready brigade uh, evaluated and assuring the Chief of Army that they are indeed ready for a range of different operations. It's about challenging us in contemporary warfare and ensuring we're getting ready for the next operation that we might go on to, not preparing for the last operation. But finally it's about assuring the Australian Government that they have a highly ready land force which has utility across a range of operations and it's ready to go on any operations they might require of it.